so I just received an, a notification about an Android Pie update for LG P20 I screenshot it earlier because I don't have an extra phone to record it see it's Android Pie it's version V30e 30, you know, almost 2 gigabyte, right? so yeah I already downloaded it and now I'm currently updating it's on the second stage of update after the download, the phone told me to remove the memory card, so I did. That's why it's so that's why the casing is not not attached. So that's why the back case is not attached. And now I'm just waiting for it. Before you update, in case you decide to update as well, make sure that your battery is around uh, 90 percent, <clears throat> or at least connect the charger on your phone, just to make sure. If the update gets interrupted in the middle of you know updating, the phone might get bricked. Okay, let's just fast forward. I think this is gonna take long. Let's just fast forward. Now we're seeing the SK Telecom. By the way, uh, just so you know, I think I have missed. I I failed to mention. This is the the update is uh, available and live for Korean versions only. LG V20. I'm not sure if this app iOS is available for other uh, for other regions but for the Korean version if you got the Korean version the update is probably available for you just go to your settings find the update find the update section and then just check for update it should be available right there if, if, if you're using the LGB20 Korean version we are now seeing the the boot logo I think I'm one of the first people to update, so um, I couldn't find any any review on the Pi version for LGB20 yet, at, at least for the official version. I've only seen the for the custom ROMs, but not for the official version. So I guess I'm one of the first one to update. And so after this, maybe I'll just upload this video just for you guys to see. Oh, there it is. Oh wait, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll wait. I'll put the camera on a tripod. So I hope you guys can see. I think it's over bright. I'll be. I'm. I'm using the Nova Launcher. Oh, I mean app Pro. Maybe I'll check the app Pro first. What's new? Swipe up. it's slow wow <laughs> that was slow i hope that's just that's just because it's for the first time oh, oh shit what was that the notification area is a bit different now this is the new notification i wonder if there are any changes no not much changes there so we'll just go for the settings now yeah see it's now android version pi already at 62 percent it's android 9 version uh, it's now android version 9 it's pi all right uh, my phone is f800s30e and uh, yeah, those are the details for the new update. What else is there? And now we'll go to the camera. Hmm. Oh, the the camera buttons are, diff are a bit different now. I'll just go to the settings. Yeah, see? Uh, I wonder if all right so that's where you choose your resolution now and it used to be just to be among this this list but now it's right here at the bottom yeah the available there is Let's see and for the video the same goes for the video and the timer yeah it's off I'm not using the timer mode, whoa, what's in the mode? 
there is no YouTube live. I don't think there was a YouTube live before. What is missing? What is missing? I'm pretty sure there's more. It's not just eight options. There's more. If you're watching this now, can you tell me in the comment section what's missing? I think something's missing. It's, uh, this YouTube live is added, but I think something is missing here in this picture. I, I'm pretty sure there's more. There's more option for this, but right now it's not. Let's see if any changes as a word. Hmm, looks like the color is more accurate now. Let me let me take this one. Hmm. See? Ah, that's blurry. See? Can you see now? It's not detailed as I don't think I don't think the camera improved at all. I don't think the camera improved at all. That that looks not let me take another one. Let me take another one picture. Let's focus on that. And click. So yeah. Let's see. Alright. Mm, fair enough, fair enough. I was expecting some major improvement in the camera department, but hey. Maybe it's just the hardware now. It's it's the hardware spot. I wonder if my Gcam is still available. I installed Gcam before, so let's try my Gcam. I hope it works here. I'm not sure if the Gcam will still work. Oh, it's... The Gcam that I downloaded for Oreo, for the LG V20 Oreo version, is not a very good fit for the Pi version. Anyway, I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna do a reboot. See if if the performance improves. If not, then maybe I will advise you not to update yet. Maybe the bug is just for the first boot. I hope this time it improves. Now, let's see if it's snappy again. Oh, is it read that. It says it reminds. Oh, there's the bag again. Let's see. That's a very slow loading. How about Facebook again? Oh, there's there. Did you see the delay? Yeah, it's slow loading. I wonder if the pattern is worse, the same, or improved. Anyway, I'll just update you after this video. Maybe I'll, I'll do some update and post it on Facebook or my YouTube channel. Maybe I don't know. I'll do some more testing and maybe get back to you on my youtube channel hmm, not bad i started the game 44 percent and it's still 44 percent somehow that gives me some hope on the battery department it would seem that the battery has improved a little bit if not significantly all right, I won. That's that's a good game. That was a good game. Not bad, right? Anyway, let's try the PUBG Mobile. Hopefully, it's much more playable because I used to. It would be a shame if the Android Pie version update is the one that made it unplayable. I'm gonna reformat this now.
so yeah PUBG Mobile is playable there were a couple of blogs in the beginning of the game but overall it's playable smooth uh, my settings by the way my graphic settings is uh, balance medium classic disabled in anti-aliasing shadows enabled brightness blah 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 so yeah there it goes so it's playable in android 9.0 lgb20 android pi it can still game despite the then the upgrade of android oper operating system version i would advise that after you upgraded to pi you will need to reset the phone remove all the apps just reformat the phone the lgb20 and after that you will experience better performance from it so yeah i think it's highly advised that you should reformat after the upgrade swiping to the left doesn't do anything swiping to the right switches from one app to another at least those th those that were opened a while ago see it's it's responsive but not quite as snappy as as, as flagship because you know this is already this is a 2016 phone so we can expect that much but there's that there's that features digital well-being i'm not sure if that helps but i think this is for uh, I don't know health there is this feature now this adaptive battery see I am pretty sure that's not available before background restrictions oh. I think this is this is so that the uh, LGB20 can improve battery life so the Android or Android Pi has learning as tool app that this feature wasn't available as well I think I believe this wasn't available before so yeah dual app this is so you can we can clone some apps just like on vivo and oppo I think so I can install another instance of facebook and messenger that's it not much to see here anymore so this is Kyokotno ID and I'm Signing out for now.